Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create bundled products. Bundled products work with simple products as well as virtual products and the way they work is they actually allow your customers to customize uh, their own item. For example, say you're selling a build your own computer, you can actually sell a case and then you can offer them a processor to go with it and you can have three different processors to choose from and the customer can choose one and then you can also have RAM as well as a mouse or a keyboard and each of those items can become optional or a requirement and then with virtual products you can actually offer say for example a theme that you're selling and then you can ask them whether they'd like uh, to purchase uh, installation along with that theme and you can offer the installation as an add-on option and you can even uh, sell warranties with uh, your items. For example, you can sell your item and then have uh, different types of warranties there that the customer can choose from. So to start, simply go to your Magento Admin Panel, then simply go to Catalog Manage Products. Now simply click on Add Product. Now simply choose an attribute set if you'd like. If not, you can leave it on default. If you do not know much about attribute sets, I actually have a video on attributes and attribute sets. As for product type, simply select bundled product and click on continue now simply enter in a name in my case it will be custom computer note that I won't actually uh, go over each of these fields because this is the same as with simple products and with virtual products so uh, since you have to create a simple product or virtual product to actually create a bundled product I'm assuming that you already know how to create a product in Magento if you do not I actually have a video on how to create a simple product at creatingawebstore.com uh, the only thing that really changes is the fact that it asks you whether you would like to uh, populate some of these fields with a dynamic value or a fixed value. With fixed, you would basically enter in your own information with dynamic. Uh, Magento will actually auto-generate this information based on your uh, simple products and virtual products that you add to this listing. Out of all the dynamic fields, uh, SKU is the only place where you have to enter in a value. As for status, I will choose enabled because if I don't, it won't show up in my store. And now I simply go to prices. For prices, again, you can either choose uh, dynamic or fixed. I will leave it on dynamic and uh, Magento will actually automatically calculate uh, the price based on the uh, options that the customer chooses. As for group price, you can enter in a group price or you can leave it as is. As you can see, this is uh, added as a percentage discount. And same goes for tier pricing. As for special price, if you'd like to add a special price, you can. The way this actually works is uh, if uh, your items uh, cost 2700 and if you want to uh, take off 10%, you would actually have to enter in uh, the special price as 90% because it will be 90% of the price. So it doesn't work like, uh, for example, if you were to enter in 10%, it wouldn't discount it from uh, the price. It would actually just uh, add the price as a percentage of whatever the actual price is. As for price view, you can choose between price range or as low as. If you choose price range, it will calculate the lowest price and the highest price and then just go from uh, X amount of dollars to X amount of dollars. If you choose as low, it will say as low as X amount of dollars. So I will just choose uh, as low as. I will actually leave this information empty because uh, this is just for demonstration purposes now. As for pictures, I will just uh, upload a main picture. For example, I will uh, upload this image of a gaming computer. As with any other listings, you can upload as many images as you'd like. As for inventory, I will just choose in stock because if not, my uh, item won't show up. As for custom options, you can actually add them if you're using fixed prices. If you're not, uh, you cannot add them with dynamic pricing. Now simply select how these items will ship, whether they ship together or separately and click on add new option. Now this is where you add a default title and the type of input that you will uh, 
have the customer use when selecting the item and whether the uh, option is uh, required as well as the position and then add selection. Note that when adding uh, simple products or virtual products you may want to hide the products from your uh, store and only show them up on the bundled products uh, listing. To do this simply go to one of your items and make sure that visibility is on not visible individually this way uh, people won't actually see them in your store unless they are actually looking at the bundled uh, product so here what I will do is I will enter in case and I will have it as a radio button and this will be a requirement and then I will simply click on add selection and now I will simply look for my item and in this case it will be a case and then I will simply select the cases that I want uh, in this listing to show up and I want actually all three of them so I will then click on add selected products to option and now to add another option I will simply click on the add new option button and here I will type in memory and I will do a drop down this time and I will click on add selection again and I will simply select the memory and click add selected product option and here I will actually uh, leave the positioning as is and then I will click on add new option again and here I will type in peripherals and this won't be a requirement and I will use a uh, checkbox and here I will simply look for a mouse and keyboard and I will add the selected products and now when the customer sees this option on the front end they can actually choose one or more of these items or none at all and now we simply click on add new option and this last option will be a warranty and I will use a multi select and it will be optional and I will simply add this one right here and I will click on add selected products to option and now I will add just one more option and that is the processor and this will be a requirement as well and I will save so here is our new listing and now we can view it in our store and here is our listing and here are the options note that you can actually change the position of all these options and you can also change whether you would want to let the customer choose a quantity for example if you go back to the bundle item section of your product you can change the position by uh, simply uh, editing these uh, position uh, fields I can change it so that my case shows up first my processor shows up second my memory shows up third my peripherals show up fourth and my warranty show up fifth and uh, I can even change it so that the user can no longer enter a quantity by changing these boxes to no and then simply click on save and now the position has changed and the user can no longer define the quantity so Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.